Are you finding it challenging to deal with constant burps accompanied by bloated stomach? You're not alone. According to experts, around 20% of Americans frequently face gastroesophageal reflux. You might think your gut has a mind of its own, but the fact is your eating habits and lifestyle play a significant role in keeping your digestive system healthy. Let's look at how acid reflux happens. If your stomach contents make their way back up into your esophagus, the experience is bound to feel unpleasant at worst and uncomfortable at best. Occasionally, reflux may turn into heartburn, something popularly known as acid indigestion or acid reflux. Now, you cannot go into your food pipe with a plunger to drain all your stomach content and acid. Assuming it's not severe acid reflux, attempting certain home remedies may help. In today's video, we'll discuss different ways to stop acid reflux naturally. Can raising your bed's head help? What about eating citrus foods? We'll talk about all this and more. Number one, try raising the head of your bed. For many people, acid reflux can occur a few hours after meals. This means you might feel uncomfortable during your sleep, which can affect your sleep quality, making you feel unrested. One way to remedy this is to change how you sleep by raising the head position of your bed a bit while keeping the rest of the body as it is. A study showed that those who used a wedge while sleeping to elevate their upper body had fewer acid reflux experiences than those sleeping flat. Before you raise the head of your bed, you should know this might not be right for you. For example, those with sleep apnea or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, won't feel comfortable sleeping in this position, which can worsen their symptoms. This is why it's better to consult your healthcare provider before changing your sleeping position. Don't like the idea of raising the head of your bed? Well, we have another remedy in store for you. Number two, eating smaller sized meals could make a significant difference. Let's see how. Did you know a band of muscles is located right between your food pipe and stomach? These muscles prevent your stomach contents from making their way back up from where they came. Now, imagine what would happen if these muscles become weak. It would be much easier for the stomach acid and food to get back into your food pipe, giving you nasty heartburn. Though there are several reasons why the muscle band could become weak, sometimes eating smaller meals can be a big help. You may have heard that you should eat small portions during your meals to control your weight. The same is true for treating acid reflux. By eating smaller portions and increasing the frequency of meals, you'll be able to reduce the risk of acid reflux. Even research has shown that eating small portions of meals can help prevent the symptoms of acid reflux. So try to avoid eating one or two large meals as it can easily worsen your condition. Instead, opt for smaller meals paired with healthy snacking throughout the day. Speaking of some healthy foods, why not add some alkaline foods to your meals? Check out this video on 16 alkaline foods you must have in your daily diet and discover their unique benefits. Now back to our video. Number three, you need to cut down on alcohol. If you haven't heard, alcohol is an enemy of your gut and consuming it increases the likelihood of experiencing acid reflux. Alcohol can aggravate your symptoms in a few ways. First, when you drink alcohol, your lower esophageal sphincter, LES, relaxes. The LES acts as a barrier between the esophagus and stomach. When relaxed, stomach acid can flow back into the food pipe and cause irritation and inflammation. Alcohol also increases stomach acid, which can be problematic because it can hinder the body's ability to remove stomach acids from the esophagus after drinking. Number four, avoid citrus fruits for a while. Do you love orange juice? You might just have to say a temporary goodbye until your acid reflux calms down. Citrus juices like grapefruit juice can aggravate your reflux symptoms. The ingredients in these juices are highly acidic. They also contain ascorbic acid, which can cause indigestion if you drink too much. Some compounds in the juices can also irritate the inner lining of your food pipe. However, it's important to note that not everyone with acid reflux will be similarly affected by citrus fruits and juices, so tolerance can vary. Number five, sleep on your left side. 
If you're somebody who sleeps on your right, you may be the source of what's causing your acid reflux to worsen at night. Research shows that sleeping on your left side reduces acid exposure to your food pipe by as much as 71%. This could be because the food pipe enters your stomach from the right. So when you sleep on the left, the opening at the end of the food pipe is above your stomach acid level. But when sleeping on the right, it gets covered with stomach acids, increasing the chances of acid reflux. Number 6. Avoid Eating Raw Onions Onions are an integral part of many cuisines, but for the most part, you should be eating cooked onions. However, if you enjoy eating raw onions, it may be time to stop. Raw onions are typically an integral ingredient of salads, or maybe you just like having them as a side dish to a meal. Either way, your body finds it hard to digest raw onion, which could irritate your esophagus. Onions have large quantities of fermentable fiber in them. Fermentable fiber can lead your body to produce more gas, causing repeated burping. A study conducted among those with acid reflux showed that eating meals that did not contain raw onions reduced the chances of acid reflux significantly compared with meals with raw onions. Number 7. Low-carb diets can be a big help one way to reduce the chances of acid reflux is following a low-carb diet. If you eat more carbs than your body requires, undigested carbs could result in bacterial overgrowth. This, along with increasing pressure on your abdomen, may cause acid reflux. When you consume too many undigested carbs, your body will also create gas that can result in bloating. Imagine having to deal with both acid reflux and bloating. Talk about being uncomfortable. Number 8. Cut down on carbonated beverages It's difficult to imagine eating a burger or pizza without soda, but you may have to, especially if you want to avoid acid reflux. Many people tend to have carbonated beverages along with their meals. These include beverages such as soft drinks, seltzers, and club soda. Studies have shown that soft drinks are particularly notorious for worsening the symptoms associated with acid reflux. This is because the carbon dioxide in these drinks causes you to burp more than usual. When that happens, there's a higher likelihood that stomach acid will find its way into the food pipe. Number 9. Chewing gum can help if you're in the habit of chewing gum regularly, then you might be helping your case. Research has shown that chewing sugar-free gum can reduce the acidity in your food pipe. If your chewing gum has bicarbonate in it, then it's even more effective as it can neutralize stomach acid, preventing acid reflux. Another reason chewing gum can be effective is the release of saliva. When more saliva is produced, it can clear the acid in your esophagus. But if you've had dental fillings, especially mercury amalgams, exercise caution. Chewing gum constantly can damage it. Not just this, most chewing gums contain artificial sweeteners, which aren't great for your health. So always go for the sugar-free varieties. Number 10. Eat dinner earlier than usual if you have acid reflux, it will help your symptoms if you eat meals earlier than usual. This is because digestion can be problematic if you lie down after a meal. A study conducted on more than 800 individuals with type 2 diabetes showed that those who ate dinner late in the night had a much higher chance of acid reflux. So plan your meals and consider even setting a schedule to establish a routine to help you. Also, avoid snacking before dinner, which can make it harder to eat earlier as it reduces your appetite. Number 11. Try maintaining a healthy weight Research has shown that those with excess belly fat are more likely to experience acid reflux. This is because excess belly fat can hinder the effectiveness of the diaphragm. The diaphragm is responsible for strengthening the lower esophagus to prevent the backflow of acids. However, pressure from belly fat can push the lower part of the food pipe away from the diaphragm. This is one of the leading causes of gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is a condition referred to as hiatal hernia. By maintaining your weight, you can reduce the frequency of acid reflux. If you're tired of having an upset stomach, you should start eating foods beneficial for your gut, or at least learn what foods are causing your stomach aches. With that being said, let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos on keeping your gut healthy, shall we? Check out 9 foods that are hurting your unhealthy stomach, 
or 12 top prebiotic foods you should be eating for your gut. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn how to get a healthy gut. Do you get acid reflux often? Let us know in the comments below.